What's up? What's up? What's up? You already know. This is Peach. And so today, I have a busy day. <laughs> I'm going to be going to wash my van. Oh my God, these kids in this van. Pray for me. Pray for me. So we're going to go wash the van. The car wash open at 8. It's 719. Very, very bright and early trying to get this out of the way. After that, I need to go by the hair store and get Gorgeous some beads for her hair. Then I gotta go home and actually take Gorgeous hair out, wash it, blow dry it, and then take her to her hair appointment. Her hair appointment is at 2 p.m. Um, Her hairstylist, she's been going to the same hairstylist for forever, and now her hairstylist is like super duper booked. So it took me the longest to get an appointment with her. The braids Gorgeous got in right now, her daycare teacher did them, which I'm grateful for. She was like, I could do Gorgeous hair. And one day I just picked Gorgeous up from daycare and she had her hair done. I was so happy. And she only charged me $20, but I tipped her. Now her real hairstylist is a little bit more pricey, but she does even better work. You would think the interstate would be the way to go, but in the mornings, the road is so much clearer than the interstate. If I would've got on the interstate, I would be stuck still. But I took the road this morning, I was like, I ain't got the time today. So right now we are on 30th Street, which is the street that Bush Gardens is on. Then once you pass this, you got Pepsi Cola, you got the beer place and all that good stuff. And then we'll be on Fowler Avenue, which is where the car wash is. And it's a while I'm gonna go get me some ice or from Wawa on my way back from Walmart. Maybe. Because if I take 15th, then I'm not. So this area is kind of I would say this is a diverse area, okay? You have the colleges and all that stuff, but then you also have a section over here where it's full of slum housing. It's like the slums. So right here across that street, if y'all could see, this is University of South Tampa. University of South Tampa is huge. Like that campus take up so much street. It starts at, we're on 30th and Fowler and it's not gonna end until you get to um, Fletcher Ave. All of that is USF. And then for the 30th street, it go all the way down, depending on what side you on, all the way down to 50th street. Yeah. They have a huge campus this area. It's kind of on one side, you have the college. And then on the other side, you have like low income slum apartments. They're not low income as so like projects or public housing. They're not like that or subsidized housing. They just low cheap rent because it's the slums. It's the dope hole where people still sell dope. It's like that kind of area. But I say the whole entire Tampa is gentrifying. So it's going to continue to change. University Mall used to be considered the black mall. I know people get so upset when I say this, but it's just true facts. Now that mall is being renovated, I heard they might turn it into an outlet. They got a bath and body works in there now. I was like, what? I need to go in that mall. I haven't been in there in years because it was nothing in there. Like it used to be back when we were kids, it used to be full of everybody. Like you go in there, it's like a fashion show. Sometimes you just go in there just to walk around because you know you're going to see everybody. Then it got deserted. I'm so tired. Then it got deserted. All the stores um started leaving y'all brother had a birthday party last night at sugar factory which i did record but i'm so tired i ain't get home until one in the morning and i just got up at six i'm so exhausted that's why i keep yarning i'm like dang i didn't even realize i was this tight so even with all that that wooden area is that's all a part of university of tampa Moffitt Cancer Center is also on University of Tampa property. Then we're finna go on Walmart. I haven't been to this Walmart in years. Listen, during um, the Black Lives Matter, the Black Lives Matter um, events in Tampa, they broke into this Walmart and they stole the TVs and all that and they wanted to prosecute the people. And who was it that said they'll pay the bill? I'm trying to think. I think it was Young Jeezy. I don't forgot. It was somebody, some celebrity was like, don't arrest them. We gonna take care of the bill. Sing their way inside.
We believe at least 200 storm into the Walmart and the majority of them headed straight to the electronic section. But baby, they show out. They stole TVs. They stole groceries. They stole everything they could get their hands on out of this Walmart. It was an event to see on Facebook because I would not. I was, I'm scared, Mary, baby. I do not be out here, okay? Um, so... We're about to pull into the Walmart. The bus terminal is across the street when they built this parking lot. This is new. I've never seen that before. But this is the bus terminal that I was telling y'all about. Dang, why I look so different? I ain't been this way in years, y'all. I don't come on this side of town no more. But that's the bus terminal. So when I used to have just my first baby, Gregory, me and him used to catch the bus over here to this Walmart and walk straight across the grocery shop and then walk back and get on the bus. And the good thing about it was the bus we used to catch, bus 40, it used to run every hour. So it used to be very easy. They got all these new parking lots. They solar powered and stuff. I ain't never seen these before. So I don't know what this Walmart is like now, but back then it was a mess. Like you could be in here and a fight just break out in the Walmart. Like what? And the lines was always long. But for those of you who don't got no car, it is conveniently located. And it's right by USF. They got a Target across the street, too. So this area, like I said, is it's diverse. I would say this is a diverse section, okay? Also, one way in, one way out. I told y'all, when you in the ghetto, it's one way in, one way out. Y'all like peaches. Nuh-uh, it's like that everywhere. No, it's not. What, I think I should take y'all on a Walmart tour. Like, go to different areas in Tampa and be like, this is this Walmart. Look at this Walmart. You're going to see ain't no police. You gonna see as multiple ways, and you gonna be like, "Oh wow, I see what she's talking about." You ain't gonna think I'm so crazy. Then might be a little cool. less crowded since all the people were still out here during them riots. They probably scared to come back in this location, but this is what this Walmart look like, y'all. Okay, let's go on ahead and go up in here like it ain't gonna be too crowded. Okay, that one ain't gonna work. Let me pick a different one. Different buggy. Alrighty. I'll be seeing these nine Walmarts where they got these little things where you gotta enter through one side and exit through a, up, another and they open up like this. Comment down below if your Walmart got those. I've been starting to see that a lot at like most Walmarts. Not all of them yet, but most. Like, what is the purpose in that? I don't know. All right, so what do we need out of here? Think, think, think. What I can, oh, we need some cleaning stuff for the car. We're gonna get us some fold one, or I mean fold nine, whatever it's called. We need to clean these clothes, like polish them. They look so dirty looking. See, that's why I like Publix. We ain't going Publix. They flows be so shiny. I don't know what kind of noodles these is, but they 40 cent. Hmm, should I buy these 40 cent? When these expire? I ain't nobody buying these. I ain't never heard of these. Hmm. Comment down below if you would buy these or not. I think I'm gonna buy them 40 cent for some noodles. I mean, we like pasta. Hopefully they not nasty. That's a good deal. They don't expire until 2023. Spaghetti North 15. I don't know what that means. But we're going to get a couple of these spaghettis. A part of me want to go crazy, but I'm like, what if I don't like them? I think ain't nobody buying them because of the packaging. Why would y'all package them in bags like this? Maybe that's why Like people so used to seeing noodles in a box. Comment down below if you've ever had these kind of noodles and if they're worth buying for 40 cents. I got, what, eight bags? So yeah, we gonna see what happens with that. Peach Patch, I don't see any 409. I see this little Resolve newer look carpet thingy, Majid. We gonna try this, it's 394. Uh, oh, here goes some 409 right here. 409, that's more of my price range, 234. All right, let's get two cans of this since it's cheap. Get two cans. 
Go ahead and use this today in the van. That's all I needed out there. Walmart, it's the same. The Splashless Bleach 397. This bleach, 444. What's so special about the regular Clorox? They the same size. What's so special? They got spray bottles at this location. I have been looking for these. These 97 cents spray bottles. I be needing these for my hair. And Gorgeous always taking them. Huh, McIntyre? They be acting like these toys. That one's sticky. Ugh. That's up, gross. Get that one. I'm going buy two. Let's get a blue one. So when McIntyre want to spray and Gorgeous want to have a spray fight. Okay, now we done for real. I don't need nothing else. Go I lied. I need me some of this blue magic coconut oil. This is the grease I put in my hair. I'm going to wash my hair and put it in a ponytail today. So we're going to get that. I love me some shine and jam. But I'm going to get it out the house. So I'm not bad in here today. Going through the little self-checkout. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's only them two open. Child, Walmart ain't never great. Hot mess. Thank you. All righty. So let's go ahead and get this 40 cent pasta. Forty cent. All right, we ain't got no issues. So yeah, y'all might want to check your Walmart. I don't know how these gonna taste. I'm a little suspicious because ain't nobody buying them. But we gonna see. Cause I like a forty cent. Peach Patch, I'm gonna up all the pastas. It's only three dollars and twenty cents for eight pastas. Not too bad. Ain't about four nine. Walmart gonna make sure you still. I barely scanned that. I'm like, uh uh, you ain't still enough out of here. I'm rung up both because y'all know y'all be like, I'm saying, you ain't scanning that. Yes, I did. Judge me. All right, now we're going to ring up my blue magic hair grease, and we got to hide this from Gorgeous and the baby because she covered him in this last time. Mm -hmm. My total is $12.84. Not too shabby. Even though I ain't want to spend that much money. It's not me that I need to get ink still. I'm like, well, I'm in here. Let me look and see if they got the ink I need. Gorgeous look like that. She already got the little makeup one like that. She love these little sets. I'm like pushing them around the house. I can't wait till she get her own room. This is our moment of truth. Do they have the Canon Ink 245? No, they do not. I'm sick of this. Don't nobody got it. Look, 245. Not in stock. Order online. Ship it to your home. All righty. Online it is. I give up. Yeah, the person at the door that's about to stop me to make sure I didn't steal. Thank you. She was going to do the most until I pulled out my camera. She was like, okay, never mind. She had stood up and everything. Like, I'm going to stop her. Sure. All righty. So that wasn't too bad of a trip. It wasn't that busy in there. Thank goodness. I'm telling y'all, when I was little, this Walmart, plus it was like the only Walmart in this area. Now they got several. This Walmart was the worst Walmart to come to. We had to start driving to New Tampa to go to Walmart. All right, Peach Patch, it's 67 degrees in Tampa. <laughs> if you like peaches, why you got on that big old jacket? Because I'm a Florida native and 67 degrees is cold. So that's why. But we gonna go to the car wash and we gonna go the other way. I'm not gonna go down 30th. I'm gonna come this way and then y'all get to see little stuff. This is our veterans hospital, the VA. I don't know the name of it. I think it's like John Hopkins veteran. I don't know. We just call it the VA hospital, okay? They done built all these little sheds and stuff that used to not be there. It used to just be the bus terminal and then just nothing. Now it's like a lot of stuff. Y'all see the buses? It's the bus terminal. We got a couple different bus terminals. But I don't want to get all up into the bus system. I used to catch the bus, though. I ain't have a car for two years. Me and Daddy was talking about that the other night. He was like, after you had Greg, you went in this big. Because I'm like, how did I get so big? He was like, it's because you don't walk or nothing. And I'm like, I didn't walk with Greg. He was like, yes, you did. He was walking and running, catching the bus. And I really think that did make a difference. Okay? Now we're going to go by University Mall the back way. This is how 
we normally come on this side we go down 22nd cut through the mall parking lot then turn mm -hmm, all that jazz but this area right here i should ride through so y'all could get a look see this area right here i think it's going to gentrify but it's still one of the cheaper areas to live in a lot of people don't want to live in this area though on this side because of drugs and um you know just a lot of dirtiness but it don't look that dirty i'll tell you this tampa been doing a good job keeping the city clean they have been doing a phenomenal job because i know normally you ride down this way it'd be trash everywhere like it's not like that and i'm sorry if my window all dirty hopefully when i go to edit this video and like dang my window all dirty because it is probably all dirty dusty i ain't washed my car in like four days but yep they got a dillard's back in here what they say burlington grands i don't know what grands is we went to the movies here me daddy and the kids and we were so surprised they got studio your movie grill and they serve you while you eat and normally we go to the one in Hyde Park area where they do that but we came to this one with the kiddos to see Frozen 2 and I was highly impressed they have um they, they do $2 Tuesday everywhere but they did like $2 Tuesday so we brought all the kids and went to the movies now I snuck food in and it was the most embarrassing thing because Choice was like where my food at get my food out your purse <laughs> Give me my burger out your purse. Everybody looking at me because they serve food. I was so embarrassed, but I still gave him his food out his purse. Oh my God, they cut the mall in half. Y'all, I'm shocked right now. I'm looking at like the mall. They really is looking like they're going to turn it into an outlet. They split it in half. This thing been here my whole life. But honestly, this was a dead mall for a while. It wasn't nothing in here. Look how they doing it. For those of you in Tampa or used to live in Tampa, that know about University Mall. Dang, it's so sunny, you can't see. They actually split that thing too. He out here giving them motorcycle lessons. You gotta have a motorcycle license. That's something I learned recent. I was like, you gotta have a different kind of license to drive a motorcycle. That's crazy. They got a Miller, they got a Portilio's. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but they got one. They got all that little jazz. All right, so the car wash I go to is right across the street. Baby, traffic is so nice today on the road. Okay, maybe I lied. Maybe I spoke too soon. Dang, it's already people at the car wash and it's on the 756. Already two cars up at that thing. Sunny, y'all. You would think that it's nice and warm outside, but it's 67 degrees. Now, like I said, I like to go on this side because it's more shade. The sun always beaming over here, but the vacuums over here is more better. So I'm just going to stay on this side today. I'm going to spizz out. All right, let me get to work. I'm not going to show y'all me detailing the car. I mean, y'all done seen it before it's probably born by now. I don't know why this always happened to me when I come to Kawhi. Why somebody always got a park right next to me? It's like all these other open spaces and you choose to park next to me. What? Choose to park right next to me. Got all these open spaces. All these open spaces. This car just pulled up. Why are you gonna park next to me? The car seat was so dirty. Finally done. Need my flow shampoo, but it's all right, we'll get there. That is it. I ain't got on no bra. Listen, <laughs> I felt like I ain't have to wear a bra today because it was cold and I had on my jacket. And I hate wearing bras. But it ended up getting hot. That's Florida for you, okay? It is now 79 degrees. I had to take my jacket off. I got my out on now. I'm about to head to um, the hair store and to. Dollar Tree. I might go to Walgreens. I need some elastic bands for my hair. I'm about to wash my hair today too and put it in the ponytail. Grease my scalp and put it in the ponytail. I know a lot of people say grease is bad for you, but baby, that's how I got all this thick, thick hair from using hair grease, okay, and genetics. But my great grandmother and all them use hair grease. That's what I use. Oh, hit her like he likes soon as you see my video.
videos. You know your girl funny, yeah, you know your girl That's dope. Right. If you really like me, why wouldn't you hit it, yo? L to the IK, EY Bae. Hit a like he like and send that love my way. L to the IK, EY Bae. Hit a like he like and send that love my way. Light, 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 light. Let's go. Light, 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 light. Like, 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 Like this sound. Yeah, that's right. Hit a like you like for your girl. Thanks for joking. Bye.